I teach at an at-risk high school up in North Austin, and I teach video game design, more specifically STEAM or STEM video game design. Cool. The students learn about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. What we're doing here is a unique combination of blending uh, design thinking, game design, computer science, the Internet of Things, and biology. More like, you know, moving blood inside of a vein. Uh, this is all just kind of organic stuff that we added to keep the level intriguing and fun. These are capillaries. All these right here you see are little capillaries inside of the vein. When you play, you have this syringe that has a vaccine in it that will help you fight off measles as well as the white blood cells that you've uh, showed them that you're not a, a virus. You're actually on their side. I think you guys did a great job. I love, I actually really love how the lungs look um, with the maze. I think from a gameplay point of view, I think you guys uh, <laughs> definitely introduce some challenge. And then even from like a biology point of view, it definitely looks organic. So that's one idea I have for if, you, if you're creating a boss level or another different level is to have, um, have that kind of dynamic, that, that extra challenge. So you're not just fighting a pathogen, but you're also trying to nurture your immune system at the same time. And if you do that well, then it's a lot easier to fight the the really hard, the really bad pathogen, so the, the, the active TB. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I like sense. that a lot. You know how they're like stationed in the lungs, right? Yeah. When you breathe in TB, it goes in your lungs. So like they try to, they fight tuberculosis to make it latent. It neutralizes mm -hmm. it. This is what this is supposed to be. Like when it goes out, you know, it goes around your body and it stations mm -hmm. itself. A lot. I wanted this to be like, we got a spot point where they like make more of themselves because they separate and this could be like one of the places that they do it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like what you've done anyway, so that's good. It'll really, wow. I'm glad I didn't have this game when I was a kid. I would never have walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Latent and then like as you go across the other limbs, you eradicate them all. It gets more active and then like it just gets... Oh, okay. Do, yeah. Can you go into each level as you want or is it like you finish with the latent one and then you go to the active? Yeah. You finish with Layton and go to active. Yeah. So, yeah. And one of them's strong. Wow. Those guys are mean looking. <laughs> <laughs> I got a